Today, we're doing a breakdown on Huel, a meal replacement company that has taken the e-commerce space by storm. Huel has had an impressive growth journey ever since they launched, and they're now doing over $15 million per month. Huel isn't just about convenient nutrition. They're putting on an absolute masterclass when it comes to branding, community building, and marketing. In this video, we're gonna break down what makes Huel's marketing so effective and how they turned a simple idea into a business that generates over $15 million per month. So with that said, let's get right into it. So here I have an overview of all of the learnings and insights that I picked up from Huel. I went through their products, their organic marketing, their paid marketing, their website, and more. And I'm gonna try to focus on mainly the highlights because there is a lot, as you can see, and I wanna make sure that I'm able to drive all the main points home that I think are the most important. Now, before we dive in, one of the first things I wanna go over is their actual sales numbers. So I pulled some stats really quickly from SimilarWeb. Here you can see that last month, June of 2024, they had 2.5 million visitors on their website. And here's a breakdown of all of their social traffic and all of the channels where they're coming from. So first place, we have 52% of the social traffic coming from YouTube, 19% is coming from Facebook, 16% is coming from Reddit, 4% is coming from Instagram, 3% from LinkedIn, and the other 3% from other channels. And what really stands out to me is the fact that they have 50% of their total social traffic coming from YouTube. For majority of e-commerce businesses, you typically see that majority of their social traffic usually comes from Facebook and Instagram. However, with Huel, they're taking a completely different approach when it comes to leveraging YouTube for both organic and paid ads. And I'm going to dive into that. But before I do, I want to go over their revenue numbers. So obviously this is an insane chart. You can see that year one, they did $3 million in sales. Fast forward to year eight, they've done $185 million in a single year, which is just absolutely insane. Now, obviously, Obviously, to do these kind of numbers, it takes a lot of heavy lifting across the entire e-commerce ecosystem, right? The product needs to be good. The organic marketing needs to be good. The paid marketing needs to be good. You need to have a good website. Basically, everything needs to be done right. And so that's why I've taken the time to put together this deep dive on Huel because I'm genuinely interested on all of the things that they're doing and seeing how I can leverage everything that they're doing for the e-commerce brand that I run and also for all the other e-commerce businesses that we work with. So with that said, let's get into some specifics. So just so you guys have more context on Huel, they specialize in nutritionally complete food products, including meal replacement shakes, bars, ready to drink options, and hot meals. Huel's impressive growth in sales is the result of strategic positioning, a strong brand identity, effective digital marketing, and continuous engagement with their customer base. And I'm gonna show some practical examples. Now, something that Huel does really well is their overall positioning. So. Originally, there's always been two different markets, right? There's been the fitness market and then there's been the weight loss market. Traditionally, these two markets were very distinct with fitness enthusiasts focusing on specifically muscle gain and protein intake and weight loss consumers focusing more on reducing their calories and reducing their fat intake. Huel positions itself uniquely to cater to both needs, which is something that many businesses usually don't do. Now, the next thing that Huel does really well is they have very clear messaging. Their messaging balances the benefits of muscle growth and weight loss. You'll notice this across their website, their ads, their organic content, and more. And what this does is it really appeals to a much broader audience. This dual approach allows them to tap into both markets effectively. And so the reason I wanted to start off with this is because to be able to get this kind of growth, you obviously need to have a really good idea of the exact market that you wanna go after and your messaging needs to be really dialed in. And so obviously, Apart from the messaging, the next thing that needs to be dialed in is the actual products. So we'll start there. Here's a breakdown of some of Huel's products. So their main flagship product that they started off with is this Huel Black Edition. It's a meal replacement shake that's designed for those seeking high protein and low carb nutrition. It contains 50% more protein and 33% fewer carbs than the standard shake. And as you can see, now, Huel has expanded their product line and they offer other ready-to-drink product options and they also offer hot and savory meals that you can order from them as well. Obviously, in order to build a business that does $180 million in sales a year, you obviously need to have good products. And so I wanted to very briefly just kind of highlight their products and just provide some additional context on you know their current products and what they're offering. I won't spend too much time on their products. If you guys want to look more into their products, you can go onto their website and get more familiar with all of the health benefits. I'm personally fairly involved in the fitness space and so I am considering on trying out some of their products now because after doing this deep dive, I want to see what all the hype is about and, you know, I want to experience it for myself. So for now, that's the, those are some of the main kind of insights I wanted to cover about their products. Now let's proceed to their marketing, right? Let's move on to their paid ad strategy. So 
as we saw, 50% of their total paid social traffic is coming from YouTube. And that's a mixture of their organic content that they're putting out on YouTube, but also their YouTube ads. And so if you go to the Google ads library, you can come across all of their ads that they're currently running on YouTube. You can see currently that they're running 200 plus ads. And here I have some notes of some of the main takeaways that I had from reviewing some of their ads, right? First thing off the bat that I noticed is that they're running a mixture of standard YouTube format ads, right? So for example, like these, and to give you guys more context, like this is like one of their ads here, you'll notice that it's full YouTube placement, right? And then you'll also notice that they're also running YouTube shorts ads. So YouTube shorts is something that has become a lot more popular and this is one channel that we recommend to all the e-commerce businesses that we work with because I personally believe that it's an untapped blue ocean. Most people are focusing on Facebook and Instagram and TikTok, which makes complete sense. However, as customer acquisition costs continue to rise, it's important for e-commerce businesses to find different channels that they can leverage that are untapped and that they can get better returns from. And so YouTube Shorts, I believe, is one of those channels. I believe it's a good channel that you can leverage for both top of funnel and also for bottom of funnel. And so. You'll notice here, of course, they're taking advantage of YouTube Shorts ads. If you wanted to look at more of the ads they're running, again, you can come inside of here. And um, you'll notice that for their YouTube Shorts ads, right, it's not like high production ads. Like these are ads that look like native TikTok style ads, right? Here's an example. Literally like no voiceover, literally just text overlay, a product demonstration. And they obviously have a lot more different types of ads. They do have some that are actual like UGC where, you know, they are including voice overlay and a lot more. But for the most part, like from my main takeaways after reviewing all their ads, they're taking like very native UGC style content and then they're leveraging it for YouTube shorts ads, right? And um, this is also what we have found to work really well for the brand that we run, but also all of the other e-commerce businesses that we work with as well. We almost always recommend that for YouTube Shorts that you should be taking native UGC style ads, ideally content from TikTok or um, any ads that you're running for Instagram stories. And then you should add that to your YouTube Shorts and then test them out as ads. That's what we have found to work really well. Now, for their standard ads, I think that they're also doing a pretty good job here. Obviously, these are much more higher quality production. You'll notice that they're still like, they're not like crazy movie style ads, right? Like for example, this product was filmed in a home, right? It's still showing like an individual talking about the product, right? And it still feels like a very native video that you would see on YouTube. It's not like a very high production, um, like movie style of a video, right? And so overall, that's one thing that I saw consistently being done with all their ads. Like they do try to make ads that are as native as possible. But one of the main takeaways that I took from them was also the how much testing they do with their ads, right? So, you know, obviously, you know, one of the things that we saw is that they're running over 200 different ads. And so they're testing a variety of different ads for YouTube standard ads. And they're also testing a wide variety of ads for YouTube shorts ads. So obviously, you know, this system that's very commonly spoken about, but when it comes to paid ads, testing is the name of the game. Now, I think that they also, one of the things that stood out to me and the takeaway that I had is they take it a step above. When it comes to their testing, they're not only testing the individual creatives here, right? They're also testing the thumbnail that you see before you even click on the ad. So if you go on YouTube and you type in Huel, this is a YouTube ad that pops up on top of the search results. And you'll notice that they have a thumbnail and then they have a headline and then you click on the ad and it takes you to the full video. In this case, it was this video here. You'll notice that, you know, even for the thumbnail that they're running on YouTube, they're doing a variety of different testing. So they're just taking it a step above and there's their level of testing is just like next level, right? They're doing testing again, not only across the actual, like the hooks, right? And the body of the actual videos, but they're also testing the thumbnails. And so one of my overall takeaways was just volume of testing, right? Not only across the actual creatives, but even when it comes to the thumbnails itself. And so um, overall, like I think that they're doing an incredibly good job at really um, leveraging YouTube to its full extent. They're crushing organic marketing on YouTube. And then they're also running, you know, paid ads on YouTube, leveraging all the different types of YouTube ads, right? We have standard YouTube ads, and then also YouTube Shorts. Also, one of the last things that stood out to me is this guy here, his exact name is Stephen Bartlett, and he has a business podcast on YouTube. And it looks like they've done a collaboration, and also he's now an investor into Huel. I think that this was probably one of the best collaborations that they could have done because he has a business podcast on YouTube, and he has an audience of millennials that watches his podcast. And it's actually a pretty big podcast. It has like 6 million subscribers, I believe. And, um, you know, I think this collaboration was perfect because now they get to leverage the audience that he has on YouTube. 
And also they now have ads running with his face on YouTube, which probably works really well because people that are on YouTube, they're most likely have seen his podcast, right? Since they're millennials. And when they see his ad and they're on YouTube, it just looks very native, right? It's not something that's like out of the box. It's like they're seeing a familiar face with a product that, you know, they're now seeing maybe for the first time, or maybe if they're remarketing, they're seeing it for the second or third time. And I think it just goes hand in hand with the ideal audience that they're looking to target, right? So I thought overall, this was like a perfect collaboration, a perfect ad that's like, it resonates perfectly well with the audience that they're targeting on YouTube specifically. So overall, those are some of the main takeaways that I picked up personally from Huel and how they're going about their YouTube ads. One of the last takeaways that I had from reviewing Huel's YouTube ads is the variety of different creatives that they test on YouTube. You'll notice that they have everything from UGC to product demonstration videos to educational videos to podcast style review ads, like anything you could probably think of that's a good fit to target their audience, like they're probably already doing it or they have tested it in the past. And so I thought that that was um, also like you know, one big takeaway that I had from them that could be very helpful for, you know, any business that's looking to leverage YouTube ads. So overall, those are some of the main insights that I picked up from Huel's YouTube ads. Now that we went over Huel's YouTube ads, let's proceed with the rest of their paid ads. So I took the time to also break down the paid ads that they're running on Meta, and I wanna go over some of the main takeaways. So first thing is first, one of the things that you'll notice is that on the paid ads that they're running on Meta, they're running both videos and they're running static ads. Now, when we dive deeper into you know, what really stands out from the ads that they're running, I took some time to just gather like some of the main takeaways from me reviewing a wide variety of their ads. So one of the first takeaways that I had from reviewing Huel's ads on Meta is the fact that they have very clear messaging. You'll notice that if you look at Huel's ads, they're very straightforward with their messaging to quickly communicate the product benefits, which really captures the attention within seconds of you watching any of their video ads. I'm not gonna take the time to review all these ads here, but if you go onto their ads library, you can literally go through and review any of their ads and you'll quickly see what I'm talking about right like when it comes to like their hooks and like really capturing attention right away they absolutely crush this right and it's obviously no surprise right like you can't do this kind of volume without you know making sure that you have ads that do a really good job at very quickly getting somebody hooked in to watch the rest of the ad so that was one of the things that um, very quickly stood out. The next thing is they have really engaging content. If you review any of their ads on Meta, I mean, this goes actually for any platform, you'll notice that a lot of their ads are very engaging. You'll notice that a lot of time, Huel's ads often tell stories showing how the products fits into different lifestyles, making them very engaging and relatable. This is one thing that they really drive home. A lot of their content really doesn't even feel like ads when you review some of them, right? Because they look so native to the platform. I think that this is also that Huel does really well is that if you look at the ads are running on YouTube versus the ads that they're running on Meta, they're completely different. The ads that they're running on YouTube, the landscape style ads, those feel like YouTube videos, right? And so they don't really come across as ads. Now the ads that you see on Meta, they feel like very native posts that you'll see somebody post on their Facebook feed or their Instagram feed. And so I think that really driving this home is what's leading to them seeing all this success specifically with their paid ads. Um, one of the next takeaways that I got from Huel was their target audience focus. So you'll notice that again, they do a really good job at segmenting their audience and tailoring ads to specific groups of people such as fitness enthusiasts, busy professionals, and ultra health conscious individuals. You'll notice that again, if you review their ads, they have ads that are tailored to each group of people. So here in these video ads, they start off with affordable, nutritious, convenient, right? And then this ad here, it opens up with spending a fortune, grabbing lunch on the go. But then if you go to their uh, static image ads, which I actually have over here, you'll notice that these ads start off with the perfect breakfast doesn't exist. Oh wait, or look at this ad here. It starts off with how can Huel Black Edition support your healthy journey and weight goals? You'll notice that these ads are talking to different groups of people. And I think that they do an extremely good job at, again, really segmenting out their ads overall and their messaging to specifically who they wanna talk to. So that's one of the things that really stood out to me. One of the last things that stood out to me is the amount of testing they're doing. So just like on YouTube, how we reviewed all the testing they were doing there. Well, on Meta, they're doing testing across first the different ad types. So they're testing static images and they're testing videos. They're also running many different ad copy tests, right? And they're also running different creative tests. Here they have like a founder story where they have the founder talking about the products, right? Then they have product demonstration videos. Then they have UGC videos. Then when you look at the statics, they have um, different statics they're trying out where it's like, 
product placement statics. And then something else that stands out to me is the fact that they're doing a lot of testing with the headlines specifically across their ads and their static images. And so my takeaway from that is that the headline is the most important element when it comes to any static image in terms of testing, right? And the reason why is because if you see here on these static images, you'll notice that they're running the same static image and the only variable that they're testing here is the headline, meaning that they have found that simply switching the headline can make a world of a difference when you're testing out different creatives. And so this is something that we're planning on putting more emphasis on for the brand that we run and also for all the other businesses that we work with, right? Obviously this helps with one, testing efficiency. Instead of having to take your time to create net new creative, you can very quickly create variations with the same static that's already working by simply testing out different headlines and you can probably find better performance from those tests. So overall, like, you know, that was one of the main takeaways that I also had is just the amount of testing that they're doing is just, you know, absolutely insane. And again, it does make sense like to do the kind of volume that they're doing and to manage the kind of ad spend that they're managing, you do need to have a very high creative output. And so it was very interesting to see that they're doing so much testing across so many different elements when it comes to paid ads. Now, one of the last takeaways that I had from Huel is how in tune they are with the overall messaging that they use in their ads and the audience they're looking to target. And what I mean by that is you'll notice here that between millennials, there's a saying that gets tossed around with, you know, it's, it goes no F's given, right? And this is a common saying that gets thrown around, right? It's, it's very um, modern and it really only gets used around millennials. Like you're not going to see teenagers using this and you're not going to see elderlies or elderly people using this saying. However, millennials will. And so you'll notice that, again, obviously they're trying to highlight how, you know, their meal replacement shakes, you can take them on the go. And you'll notice that on this static ad, the headline here is no forks given. And so they would only use this because they know that millennials, you know, use this and they would recognize this headline here. And they would recognize the association between what they're trying to communicate with their ad, right? Because essentially what they're trying to communicate is that instead of needing a fork to actually eat your breakfast, you can instead get their meal replacement shake, which allows you to just drink it on the go, right? And so, um, yeah, I thought overall, like if you look at their messaging across their actual ads themselves and the headlines and the ad copy, they just are very in tune with the exact messaging that resonates the best and would look very native to an individual if they saw this ad on their timeline, right? Because again, the overall goal with ads is to basically create them in a way where they don't even feel like ads. And so, you know, this looks like a post that, you know, you would see on your feed natively, right? And so, yeah, I just thought that that was super unique. So overall, those are some of the main takeaways that I got from reviewing the paid social ads that Huel is running on Meta. Now that we went over Huel's paid social ads, let's transition to Huel's paid search ad. So I took the time to do a full deep dive also on Huel's overall paid search strategy. So they're running Google shopping ads and Google search ads, and I have some insights that I wanna share for both. So let's first start off with their Google shopping ad. So if you look through their ads, I believe that they're doing an incredible job with their Google shopping ads. And there's a couple of different reasons as to why. So right now, if you go on Google and you type in meal replacement shake, you'll notice that most of the brands that show up have like a standard product image that, you know, is just on a plain white background, right? And there's nothing really unique about it, right? Like you can see this one looks similar, this looks similar and this looks similar. However, if you look at Huel's Google shopping listings, you'll notice a couple things. The first is they have a picture of their product in a plain white background, but in front, they also have an icon that represents the flavor of their product, right? And so this automatically makes their shopping listings stand out compared to everybody else's listing. The next thing that they're doing is you'll notice that they have different shopping listings that have different color backgrounds. So like, for example, this listing here, it's pink. Right. And so if you zoom out automatically, if you look through all the shopping listings here, it, this one automatically stands out the most compared to all the other listings, right? Simply because it has a different color background. And so this is something that we have found to work really well for our own e-commerce brand and also for the other e-commerce businesses that we work with. In fact, anytime that we work with any e-commerce business, one of the first things that we prioritize is reviewing their Google shopping feed. This is almost always where we find the most opportunity because most of the time, if an e-commerce business isn't getting results with Google Shopping, it's most likely because they don't have any unique way to make their products stand out compared to the competitors. 
And so again, if you just continue to look through these listings here, you'll notice that again, this is the next batch of listings. If you just zoom out, you'll notice that automatically like, yes, this listing stands out. And the reason why is because they have a different color background, right? But you'll notice that Huel also has a different color background. And so this is typically something that's done by more advanced advertisers. And the reason why is because it works, right? Now, those are the first two things I wanted to make sure I highlighted. The next thing that I noticed that's super unique, this is actually the very first time that I see any e-commerce business do this, is you'll notice that Huel includes an offer in their product title, right? So if you look at their product title, it starts off with meal replacement shakes, $2 and $50 per shake. And then after that, it says free t-shirt and shaker. So here you have the full offer. So you'll notice that their offer is a free t-shirt and a shaker, and they're including this in their product title. This is something I have never seen any e-commerce business do. And I thought this was a genius idea. And so obviously if they're doing it at their scale, there's most likely a reason why. And so this is actually something that I'm gonna be looking to do for the brand that I run, and also for all the other e-commerce businesses that we work with, because I do think it's worth trying out. This again, automatically makes you stand out compared to all of the other listings that show up next to you. So again, when it comes to Google Shopping, the most important element elements is your product title and your product images. And so of course you have other elements as well, but those are the main two that I have seen that really move the needle when it comes to the overall performance that you get with Google Shopping. And so I thought that, again, they're just doing an incredible job at you know making sure that their Google Shopping listings are really well put together and really stand out compared to the competitors. Now, when it comes to their Google search ads, I think that this is also an area where they're doing things incredibly well. I put in a search term that I knew would prompt their ad. I searched for best meal replacement shakes for men. And if you scroll down here, you'll notice that their ad shows up right here. And there's a lot of things that they're doing well with their ads. And I have a full breakdown here. So. To be specific, what I thought they were doing really well with their ad is first using compelling headlines. You'll notice that in their headline, they're including 17 meals for $2.50 per meal, which what that does is it immediately communicates their value proposition, which appeals to cost conscious consumers. And the reason why this works on Google is because when someone goes on Google, they already know what they need and what they're looking for. They're just looking where to buy from. And so as long as you can make sure you communicate the right ad with the right offer in place, you can capture high intent traffic, right? Um, most of the time when people are going Google, they're very high up in the funnel and they're already ready to make a decision. So again, they understand this and they're positioning their ads to take advantage of high intent traffic. The next thing that they do is they have a very effective description. You'll notice that in their description, they include nutritional benefits, dietary preferences, and they also convey the convenience and affordability of their products. And I think all of this really drives all the points home as to why somebody should actually click on their ad and learn more about their products. And so overall, with their Google search ads, I thought that they were doing all these things extremely well. I think in general, when it comes to their Google ads, when it comes to both shopping and search, all of their ads, right, they're doing an incredible job overall. And so I wanted to make sure that I spent time highlighting the, all of those specifics because I do know that any business that understands this and takes advantage of Google the way that Huel is taking advantage of Google ads will absolutely see results, right? When it comes to Google shopping and when it comes to Google search, those are primarily the main two types of ads that you wanna focus on when you're running an e-commerce business. And so now that we went over Huel's paid search strategy, let's proceed to go over their email marketing strategy. So I'm not gonna do a full deep dive on their overall like email flows and email broadcast. The only thing I wanted to quickly point out is how they're getting emails in the first place. So if you go on their website, just like every e-commerce business, they have a pop-up that shows up. Now, one of the things that you'll notice is that their pop-up is much different than what you usually see. So it's an instant pattern interrupt. Instead of you seeing the usual 10 or 20% off discount that you get in exchange for your email, Huel is offering the chance to win $100 that you can use to spend on Huel. And so ideally, I thought that this was pretty clever and genius because again, automatically you stand out compared to all the other competitors because all the other competitors, they're doing the same thing. They're doing the usual discount. And so automatically makes them stands out compared to the rest. The next thing is it's a genius offer because it's massive reward for somebody to be able to win a hundred dollars knowing that you know, with $100, you can probably purchase like quite a few of their products. For Huel, it doesn't cost them almost anything, right? It only costs them their product cost, but the perceived value that an actual person would have, it's like, you know, that's quite a good deal, right? I get the chance to win $100 to buy any of their products. Like that's a pretty good deal. And so overall, I thought this was a great approach that they're taking to one, um, generate emails in the first place, right? This is something that not a lot of businesses are doing. You'll typically see again, the usual like 
basic discount offer, which in my opinion, in our day and age, like people are numb to seeing like the standard offers. And so unless you come up with a unique way to provide an incentive that captures somebody's attention, you know, you're not going to see as good of a result. So I wanted to very quickly cover that when it comes to email marketing. Now that we went over emails, let's proceed to their offers. So again, this is one area where I just very quickly wanted to point out some of the main offers that stood out to me very quickly. The first is like we saw in their Google shopping ads, they have an initial first time customer offer where you can get a free t-shirt and a shaker. And also in their announcement bar, you'll notice that they have an additional offer where if you spend $120, you can get an extra 10% off this offer, right? If you're a new customer or if you're an existing customer, you can automatically get this, right? So I thought that this was pretty unique as well. Nothing crazy, but you'll notice that almost always every e-commerce business almost always has an offer that they're running. Now that we went over Heels offers, let's proceed to go over their website and their product page. So one of the first things I wanted to go over is that Huel has one of the most well put together websites I have seen. Everything from their design to the content that they use. You'll notice that in their content, they have millennials, which is the ideal audience that they wanna target. You'll notice that from a color scheme perspective and branding that they use white and black. It kind of resembles like Apple's website, right? They're going after like a premium look. You'll notice that their packaging obviously really stands out on their website, which is absolutely massive, right? Because people get behind brands that are bigger than just selling a product, right? That are actually behind like good causes. And so obviously this is massive. They have celebrity faces, which obviously is huge. And something that really stands out to me that I think is like part of the reason why they've been able to grow so aggressively on top of everything else is the fact that they've been able to build a community around their brand. So they essentially, once you become a customer, you become a Hooligan, which is um, the community that they have built of, you know, their customers. And so ideally you'll notice that they're really big on using the word Hooligan once you become a customer and also highlighting on social media. So you'll notice that if you scroll down here, you'll notice how they have this section where you can check out and see more posts from other hooligans on their social media posts. And so I have found that building communities around the brand is something that can really go a long way. Like again, the age of like this faceless brand where there's no real community and there's no other like sense of being attached to the brand is like gone. In our day and age, like you need to have a brand that people can genuinely connect with and like stand behind. And so, and having a community that people can associate themselves with, the hooligans, like that's massive. And so I thought that was super unique. I love the fact that they're really community focused. Now, when it comes to their product page, I put together you know, all these different insights that I realized as I was kind of going through their product page, I'll go through them. Um, but as you can see, they're all listed out here. When it comes to their product page, I think again, one of the best product pages that I've seen, you'll notice that as soon as you come on the product page, the first thing you're going to see is product benefits at the very top, right? Next, as you go, you'll notice that they're using A1 product images. Obviously, when it comes to a product page, your product images are the most important. Next, you'll notice that you'll see their product features right away. Underneath that, you'll see social proof, right? they go over and highlight their Trustpilot reviews. Here, they have a functionality where you can mix and match different flavors when you order from them, which obviously is super ideal for people because not everybody may like just having you know, one flavor that they order when, since they're gonna be ordering more than one of the product, right? And so um, I thought that this was super unique. It allows people to go ahead and really customize their order, which can help with boosting average order value, which is obviously the name of the game in the e-commerce space. So that's something that I wanted to point out. Um, as you scroll through the page, you'll notice that they highlight the benefits of the products as well and what makes them different. So they have this whole health section here. As you scroll through the health benefits, you'll notice that they have these different icons, which make it easier for customers to read through um, some of this key product information, right? And what their products help with. Next, in the health and wellness space, the health benefits is like everything. And so they have a call to action here where you can actually click and get more information about all the benefits. Underneath that, you'll notice that they have this social proof and authority section where it shows off all the different publications where they were mentioned in. And of course, like, you know, this is massive, right? It provides social proof and also helps with credibility and authority. As you continue to scroll down, you'll notice that they have this breakdown here with a list of nutrition foods that Huel product is equivalent to, which is huge because this is one of their unique selling propositions. The fact that you can get the benefits of all of these different types of foods by simply consuming one of their meal replacement shakes, right? So I thought that this was pretty unique and really stands out. Next, as you scroll down the product page, you notice that they have the new customer offer right here. And then underneath that, you'll notice that um, they have an emphasis where... Uh, they highlight exactly what you get from the product and what you don't get, right? So it says just what you need, nothing you don't. And then it, it highlights how they don't have any animal byproducts, it's GMO free, and they have no artificial flavors. Also, something that's super unique is you'll notice that in the image here, they showcase how 
it's somebody actually drinking Huel, which um, emphasizes the fact that, you know, this is something that you'll take and drink on the go, right? You don't have to stop and like eat all this. It's convenient, right? It's affordable. And so they really drive all of their unique selling propositions home. As you keep scrolling down, you'll notice that they have these different endorsements by different registered dietitians and nutritionists, which obviously provides a lot more credibility and trust. And then as you continue, you'll also see more social proof. You'll see reviews from you know different people on here and you can also scroll through these, which obviously continues to help with the overall credibility and social proof that you see on the product page. And then last but not least, they have their FAQs. And so what I really like about their FAQs is how they're built out, but that they're also organized. And so if you wanted to get specific information about the usage, right, and how often you should have a shake, they have specifically FAQs for that where you can easily find them. If you wanted to know the different purchase options that you have available, you can click on that and then it'll only show you those FAQs. And so they just make it easy for any potential customers to get any information that they would want before they actually, um, you know, buy the product, right? And so overall, those are some of the main takeaways that I had from Huel's website. Again, super well put together website, super well put together product page. Branding is A1. They have a strong community focus. Um, they also have this pretty cool forum where people can go on there and ask questions and engage. And I thought that that was genius because then they can take all that feedback from that forum and then continue to build out more FAQs, improve their products, improve their ads. And so there's honestly so much, right? And I wanted to um, include here as much as I could. There's more things that I took notes of, but obviously this video could be an hour long and I wanted to condense and include mainly the highlights that I thought would be super beneficial for you guys to know. And so overall, those were the main takeaways that I had from Huel. I wanted to take the time to break down all of those different elements because from my experience, it's not only about the product or the paid social ads or the paid search ads or the email marketing. It's like everything, right? And so ideally, I wanted to take the time to kind of break down how they're doing everything right across every element that you can think of, right? When it comes to the e-commerce ecosystem and um, really showcase what it looks like to be able to build a business of this nature. And so if you're running an e-commerce business and you're looking to get help with growing your e-commerce business, down below in the description, you can actually find a link where you can book a call with me and my team. On that call, we can get to know more about you and your business. And then from there, we can lay out an action plan going over how we can help you grow your business. That's it for today's breakdown. If you enjoyed, as always, I'd appreciate if you guys dropped a like on the video. If you guys have any questions about anything that I covered in this video, drop it down in the comments below. And with that said, I'll see you guys on the next one.